What's going on, you guys? It is Cyrus Obsidian here at Obsidian Games, here to bring you the first local diaries of the year. So I asked both on my previous two YouTube videos and on my Instagram, what deck should I start out the year with? And you guys voted and you guys picked. We are rolling with Virtual World. So Virtual World is one of my favorite decks that I love to play as it is so unique, so diverse. And it has such a unique toolbox where you can just throw in a whole bunch of random stuff and the deck will function. Its only downside are dead hands. So let's see if we can remedy that with our deck that we are running with today. We had a video a couple weeks ago that you can check up out here where I played Virtual World and the deck list is going to be a little similar but as well different. So let me show you the, the video and then we can head on over to Locals. Or let me show you the deck profile, not the video. Then we'll head out to locals. All right, let me show you the profile that we are working with today. So we're going to start off with the virtual world package, and we are playing three copies of My Himi Lulu with three copies of Lao Lao, two copies of Nyan Nyan with three copies of Virtual World Kirin Lili, three copies of GG, triple copies of Quaid Loon, two King Long, two Chooch, and one Zong Wu. So the one change that we made was dropping King Long from three to two. There were a lot of times in the last video that I had, the last time I played the deck, where I was constantly seeing King Long in my hand. And as cool as that is, not having a something in the grave to trigger off so I can discard that King Long always came up as bad. So we decided to drop it down to two and we'll see how well that plays out. Otherwise the virtual world you know, monsters themselves are pretty standard lineups. And honestly, I have to love the fact that they are all either secrets, ultras or supers thanks to the tin from 2021. Because when I originally picked up the deck with Phantom Rage, you know, we only had the Lulu, Lao Lao, and Nyan Nyan as... Oh, and Chooch and the Quailoon as hollows, whereas everything else was just common. So it's nice to have it blinged out. Now moving on to the rest of the deck that is not Virtual World. Um, we play... We are still playing the three copies of Cash Tier of Fenrir, because I thought Fenrir was a really good addition to, to the deck. And we're following it up with one Shadal Beast and one Tier Limit Hobness. So this is where things might be a little weird or unique. Um, since we do discard a lot, Beast and Hobness do come up as being just good discards. So Beast being able to discard and draw a card, and then Hobness being able to fuse itself and Beast into a card that we play in the extra deck is really degenerate, but it also just really works. So that, that's the reason why we play those. Um, then as for kind of like as I said, we do have a lot of dead hands. We are playing three copies of Desires with three copies of e -Telly to kind of help alleviate that. Now that we can play Desires at three, I'm testing it out. I'm not saying that you should. I am just testing it out just to see if this does help the deck a little bit like it did back in 2020 and 2021 when the deck was really high in its ceiling. Um, but, but we'll see. Or 2019. Yeah, 2020. But we'll see. We'll see. And then for our hand traps, we are playing one called by with three ash and three imperm, as these are just kind of really good hand traps to play in this in the format, at least from my observations. Um, luckily, the virtual cards they do avoid a lot of hand traps. The only hand traps that we are really hit by are ash and droll and nib. If you're you're not setting up your board quick enough. But otherwise, things like Imperm, Valor, Mourner, we typically dodge those because of how well we are at activating and resolving in hand versus on field. Now the extra deck stuff isn't impervious, so we do play around that. But that is our hand trap lineup. And then onto our extra deck is where things are a little funky. We are playing the one El Shadal Winda. As I said, since we are able to fuse Hobness and Beast, we can go into Winda on our opponent's turn, which is really cool. We are playing one Sigma, one Ultimaya, one Baron, one Shen Shen, one Crystal Wing, one Stardust Charge, one Coral Dragon, 
one Juju, one Zeus, one Typhon, one Ptolemy M7, one Lars, one Beatrice, and one number 39 Utopia Beyond. So, as I said, this deck is just a toolbox for a lot of different things that you can do. So, going second, ultimately you want to go 39 and Mathematic Final Sigma to just kind of an OTK. Going first, you're wanting to set a Crystal Wing with Baron, and depending on how good your hand is, Beatrice, so that way you can just send the stuff, you can send the Beast with Beatrice on your turn, and then send the Hobnus, so that way you can trigger Hobnus to fuse right away in the window, or if you're more needing like effect negation, you can go into Evol's Art Lars, Ptolemy M7 to recur stuff, going second, Typhon and Zeus are great, um, Coral and Stardust are really just draw powers, and if you really need to, Shen Shen is always just a walking macrocosmos. So a lot of decks can't play around that, so that's why it's there. Moving on to our side deck, we are playing um, a couple more hand traps, and these hand traps might be a little interesting choices. We're playing three copies of Ghost Mortar Moonlit Chill with three copies of Effect Veiler. So I figured Effect Negation was probably the safest route to go in this format, um, especially since, you know, Mourner hits during any phase as long as the opponent special summoned a monster face up. You know, you can discard a target, negate its effects, and if it leaves, they take damage, which can come up in time, but who knows. Um, and then Veiler's just really good at, on its own. And then we do complement the rest of my side deck for board breakers. So we are playing one change of heart with two copies of Triple Tactics Talent, two copies of Cosmic Cyclone with one duster, and then three copies of Evenly Matched. So this is just kind of like to be board breakers, whether you're playing against like Labyrinth, back heavy decks, or a lot of like monster effect negates. You know, you can go change of heart to bait out something. And if you have the talents, you drop the talents to steal it, use it as your own material for something. Um, for Synchro or whatever, or to draw to, which sometimes might come up, but really just being able to take control or to rip a card out of the opponent's hand is really great. And then evenly just to, you know, as the card says, even the playing field. But we'll see how this variation does today. Again, as I said, Virtual World is just really dynamic, really unique, where you can play it however you want. So we're gonna try out this version to see if we can top today's locals with Virtual World as was selected by you, my viewers, my fans. So if we win, this is for all of you guys. So let's head on over to Locals and see how we do for today. Okay guys, before I report on rounds, let me just show you how cute these are. I'm a huge Stitch fan, and I, I love these Squishmallows. How much, how much are they? Dang it, there's no price. I mean, there's a price tag, but, but it doesn't show the price, unfortunately. But here we are at the end of my round one, we play against Fire Kings. Going into it, I was a little, little scared because we had played Fire Kings several times up to this point and we have taken some hits and losses there. But we were able to manage a full 2-0 sweep. I, I got super lucky. My opponent sided out in game two in his Fire King Islands and he only had one in the deck and we dropped it evenly. And he popped it evenly. And... He had no islands, so we could take a win, easy win there, I guess, because of that. But in game one, I was able to put up my board with uh, Shen Shen, Ultimaya, Chooch, and some other cards, uh, Crystal Wing, and Ashen Ham with Fen for a follow up. So we were pretty pretty good in set. We were able to swing for game. And then game two, yeah, he, he kind of fumbled a little bit, but hey, it's all right. We learned. <laughs> And we learned as well that this world is still kicking butt. We still have four more rounds of Swiss left to play. So we'll see where rounds two, three, four, and five end up taking us. Hopefully not, no more repeats. Okay, so round two time just caught called, and I went to time. So we're playing Runic Chimera, and honestly, it's such a fun deck to see. I hate Runic, but hey, the Chimera engine is pretty cool. Uh, game one, he does open the nuts, takes game one, game two. I was able to put just enough pressure to push through a win. And then game three, we went to time. Thankfully we were in battle phase. I had gone Final Sigma, Utopia Beyond, and that was enough to clear the game. So we take round two. So need to report and then we'll head to round three. Okay, so round three, we play against Dragon Leak. Um, 
I knew the Shadal engine was going to be dead, so luckily he didn't bestial it. But game one, we were able to take a sneaky win. So I ended up just in his board presence and Shen Shen just carried. Game two, couldn't push through his board. And then game three, I feared Nibiru, like no one's business, going first. And I also did not open the best hand. I opened King Long, Chooch, Zhang Wu, Lili, and Lao Lao. I, I should have baited just a little bit more just to see going to charge, charge to draw, and then gone into Ultimaya for Crystal Wing. But he had the Imperm. I had no idea what was his other card. So we ended up taking an L in round three, losing to Dragon Link. Um, what I had done differently would have been gone into charge to draw one, baited out the Imperm or whatever hand trap he had. But as long as that, that was on the field, he couldn't target Ultimaya with effects. And we should have just gone into Ultimaya. Um, I had a way to do it, but I didn't, so that cost me the round. We'll see what round four and five have, but so far, we're either looking at Fire Kings or Runix again. So, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so round four. We play again, Exorcist. I haven't seen Exorcist in a while. So game one we open first, we're able to set up a sub-optimal board, but it was enough to be able to apply pressure, take game one. Um, game two, we opened up no interruptions, but we did open up gas. We were able to break his board and then not have him play. And then we were able to go for game. So we take round four with one more round left. We are 3-1, three, 3-1 one, three, three, one, guys, 3-1 one, one, virtual. We're already doing a lot better than we did out of this math deck and math deck. So maybe virtual world is just the play right now. Since the format is in this array, who knows? We have the Fire King, we have the Tin Runic Chimera. We lost to Dragon Link on my own accord, but also the plays were a lot more in his favor. I just did not have the gas to break his board. And then playing against Exorcist. So we'll see what round five, the last and final round, has for us. Um, but we're either looking at playing against Kashtira, Fire King again, or um, Vanquish. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And I could be totally wrong, so stay tuned, guys. Here we got some duels going on. We've got seven minutes left in time, and we'll see what these duelists have. Okay, I want this on record. We we did it, guys. Fourth place with Virtual World. There were 19 people originally, but it looks like four people dropped. But thanks to you guys. So. Round five, we play against Fire King again, as I so predicted. And it was a really good game one. There was just a lot of back and forth, but he had the, the, the fire, quite literally, to put out Virtual World pretty easily. Game two, we go first. Didn't have the best hand to put a board, but we did our best. We were able to just kind of control things a little bit, but we lost the time in game two which was quite unfortunate. Had we gone to battle, we would have been able to draw the tie, but hey, we should have just played a little bit faster. But it was a good match overall, and fourth place is not bad. Fourth thanks to you guys. Since you guys voted on Virtual World, it was able to top, so we, we chillin'. And that is it for this Local Diaries episode. Remember guys, if you like the content, like and subscribe, share with a friend, and join us again as we will have another Local Diaries this week. So we'll catch you on the next one and we'll pass it over to you guys.